In Integrated Studies Classroom, um, the way that I integrate, I do reading and science. I mostly focus on teaching them reading comprehension in the area of nonfiction. And so I focus my instruction based around science curriculum, which is mostly the life science area. So a lot of our reading will come out of our um, science textbooks. I will pull um, additional materials from the library and we will do things through multiple authors, but mostly in a nonfiction um, instructional focus. So I still work on main idea. I still work on summarization. We do a lot of cause and effect, problem and solution. Um, we also work very heavily on breaking down vocabulary words and trying to read multi-syllable vocabulary words because in the area of the non-fictional text, the um, words become increasingly longer and especially post the fifth grade level. And so in order for them to be successful in reading the non-fiction text, we focused a lot on how they can read the vocabulary words and then get to the meaning and deriving root from the root words and things like that. So the Integrated Studies class merges our reading curriculum as well as our science curriculum and it basically supports both classes. And by the end of the year, they know their life science very, very well because we've spent most of our year on that particular topic, but they can also um, do a lot of the reading skills with ease because they've had a different uh, focus with it. And especially with nonfiction, the way authors, um, author's purpose is always different, um, as well as um, trying to find a main idea and supporting details is completely formatted differently than a fictional text would or folk tales and things like that. So it's a very good classroom for the kids to see a different way an author will present material. Oh, for example, one lesson I put a beetle underneath my, um, my Elmo, my document camera, and they were going to have to brainstorm um, ideas of why the beetle may have um, not survived in its ecosystem. And so I get them thinking along the lines of the science, but in something that's very real to them. And we'll segue into that, into something that is in a reading format. So throughout the classroom, um, we will go through a reading type um, activity. Um, we will be focused on something that is vocabulary related or possibly a reading skill. So even though I am immersed in a science topic, I am focused on a particular skill that will support that reading teacher. And our independent practice will then be mostly reading related. And so we'll be um, possibly working through trying to find main idea through the text um, or cause and effect, um, things of that nature. So it's, um, it's very difficult as far as merging the two classes because I'm working through two sets of, of Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, but um, I'm also supporting two tax tests in the end. And so um, it's really nice when they come together very smoothly. There are days that I may be a little bit more reading focused and some days I'm more science focused because in order to get into any of the curriculum, the vocabulary has to be taught at a level that they can understand what that means.